Welcome to the final installment of Hatred. Uh, I will be your host, Arminian. Slowly cleaving through all my problems to the best of my abilities. A lot of dudes just playing this ducking game. That's alright. Let's blow up this car and see if we can create some havoc. Yep, that did some stuff. Alright, we're gonna pull forward ever so slightly and continue to rain fire down on our, uh... I guess on their would-be heroes. I'd really like to shoot that explosive way at the back. Alright, let's just, uh, let's just do this. The welcome committee. Time to die. I think I can shoot right there. Get inside the power plant. That seems to be my only current objective. Imply this AI is bad, but all right. Well, that's good enough. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, taking fire damage. Taking more fire damage. Not crazy about that. All right. That's my Jeep just having a rough time right now. Shotguns, a bunch of other assorted equipment. I wonder if this is going to be like a super anticlimax if I'm just going to walk into the power plant and blow it up. Or now we're in next tier. Do away with the Jeep, which was the solution to all my problems, and the heavy camp mounted machine gun. And now it's going to be like, use your tactical training. So there are some armed guards in here, but it looks mostly like a couple of cops. I see some armor here though, I'm all about that. I mean, maybe they'll have some sci-fi weapons, because it's like a power plant, although it doesn't look like it. And again, shooting these guys doesn't even seem like it would fulfill much of a purpose. Get out, oh, get out of my way! Alright, here we go, here's some dudes. All these scientists, like, I mean, I guess there's just, there's no amount of evacuation that could help you if my end state is, in fact, the nuke, but. I should probably save those in case I need them.
Okay. Sorry, I got a little bit tense there. I mean, I would compare it to a tactical shooter, but it's way more of a duck, spray, and pray, and hope you can serve life long enough. My intention here is to plant this explosive, double all the way back, unless there's a timer trigger, in which case I'd be pretty annoyed. But I could see them doing that for the sake of trying to put you in a rushing mentality, thus putting yourself in way more dangerous. Don't show me a timer. Alright, excellent. Uh, let's take the quick tour to nuclear reactor just to appreciate it. You know, I'm not going to question how I'm in here without a hazmat suit. I mean, I don't know a lot. I'm not a, I'm not really into nuclear radiation. I'm not a... I don't know what the official title would be. A radiologist, I guess? Maybe that's something different. Oh. Alright, every gun's got a clip now. Another effective way to do it is definitely to get them in line so you can take a few shots at once. Just like Neo. Alright. Ten minute mark, I'm halfway done both of my objectives, pretty soon we'll get to see a nuclear explosion. All I want to do right now is double back and get that armor, which should be down this hallway through the cooldown radiation chamber where I hit that button, and then the armor should be up here on my left, where it is, and ammo plenty. Excellent. I'm like running through a calm, rational itinerary where being on a murderous, blood-fueled rampage. It's important to always keep a level head, kids. That's the moral of the story. Don't allow yourself to succumb to the emotional content that derides from your overall success. You know? Don't be a slave to your emotional content when it's going to hold you back from your dreams. Important to always follow your dreams. You know what, this may not be, this may be where I have to make my escape from, I don't know, I'll come back here. Right now, as far as I can tell, I have one other objective. Shh. I'm not even going to kill you, I just wanted to kick you in the face. You can die in a nuclear holocaust. Alright. Alright. Interesting. We'll come back. We'll come back. Is there a control switch in here somewhere? No. Interesting. Now I'm just not sure where to go. I think if I... I feel like going up and around would be the better way to go, but maybe I can't unlock that. So let's... We'll double back the way we were going, and we'll go up and right, and we'll see if I can get around that door. And if not, then we'll come back to this one. But I'm pretty sure... I gotta go up and left. 
I can't believe that that guy was gonna roll up on me and like ninja take me out. What a dickbag. Inconsiderate. There's a lot, like, again, the art style in this game, really cool. I like what they're going for. I like what I'm seeing. They do some cool stuff. But all in all, like, the gameplay lacks tightness that you need in these situations. There's just a lot of things they're not doing right. If at all, maybe I can't. Maybe I underestimated. No, and this is. Oh, god damn it! Okay, so I do have to double back, go through that left door. Then that's fine. Except this door is going to open now, and now I got to go out here, and then I got to freaking. Oh. Airlocks. Okay. This is a dead end, maybe? Remember when maps were a thing? Is that just me? Am I the only one who lives in that fantasy world? I'm really glad I've got a place to look and see all the corpses I've left in my wake so I could feel guilty, except at this point I've abandoned any sense of guilt, otherwise I wouldn't be playing a game called Hatred where the premise is you murder everybody. Obviously misunderstood me as an ethical human being. This is just because you guys designed this place poorly. And I don't like having to try and figure out where I'm supposed to go. No, no execution? Alright. Wow, maybe that whole other platform and gangplank area is inaccessible? Really? They just made a whole area where dudes could just shoot you and you can't get to? Wild. I guess this is the end of the game just about. I'll probably have to do a classic escape. I mean, why, why do anything new, right? Okay, and that'll be the door in the middle I passed by earlier, giving them enough time to respawn NPCs to just make my life absolutely more difficult than it already has been. Oh, plus I get to wait for this thing to finish. Did you put any armor in that room? Inconsiderate pricks. Why wouldn't you put armor in that room? That seems like the most obvious thing, especially if you're going to restock the opposition. I guess it's got to be hard work. On the plus side, I haven't used up any of my respawns, so... I shouldn't be in too much trouble. I have my rocket launcher. I have a shit ton of grenades all of a sudden again. So that's alright. I'm assuming there's gonna be like a fucking tank now, somehow. Maybe some kind of large robot I have to fight.
Should be able to get that civilian in execution still. Alright, health's doing okay. Let's knock the civvy down and try to get back to full health. Oh, come on! That spin kick was a thing of art. So this will be my grand last push anyways. So we just gotta be careful because as stated, they will be respawning dudes to make my life difficult. Which, I mean, I guess it should. This is the big climax, the big to-do. Oh god. That might have worked out better than I expected. I think I gotta go up and right now. Let's all fight him in a straight line. It's the only way to be sure. If we could all just line up and let him use his suppressive fire against us, that would be the best way to do it. Shh, it's okay. This is for not unlocking the door in the first place. I love that you don't get to see it. Not seeing it is almost more menacing, as far as I'm concerned. Is there going to be a boss fight? Is there going to be some kind of, like, epic showdown? Do I have to fight some dude with, like, short white hair who's all about saving people's lives? Really? You'd murder a whole town just to save your own life? No. I won't do that. I can't be responsible for this. Kill me if you useless piece of shit. What is this fucking code? I see. He's here. So the time has come. Oh, it was probably six six six. I assume I'm holding the detonator in my left hand. I only wonder if those explosives will work. I should go with one one one. Oh, it looks like they did. It's gotta be 666, right? Like, what else? This fucking, like, neo fucking rocker goth hate everything Nathan Explosion motherfucker. Also, whose nuclear overload codes are three digits long? I can't believe I paid 20 bucks for this. Well, they did. Oh, thank you. 
Thank you. I'm glad that you could clarify that for me. I guess because I have those two respawns left, I can spawn in the nuclear fallout. Never hesitate to kick enemies with F to get them stunned and vulnerable to executions. That's a learning point for you. That's uh, some valuable information. You know, we've learned a lot today. We've learned a lot from... Oh, a dive roll. Well, that's uh, not even in the game. I mean, I guess this could be satire, but it seems to be taking itself... I don't want to say seriously, but I don't know. the only way of healing here. Well, that's it. That's Hatred. Um, grand summation, you want my, my full-on breakdown? Uh, Hatred is a game that fails to deliver mechanically uh, what, it, what it should do. I mean, it should be this top-down, dual-stick-inspired arcade shooter. I mean, it's got a noir, gritty feel to it. It's got... Uh, undertones that remind me almost of like a top-down GTA intermixed with like a 3D style. It, it wants to be impressive. It wants to be artistically meritable amidst its shock value, but I mean the truth of the matter is the shock value is only there for like PR purposes. You get bored of it, you get tired of it, it becomes redundant. Uh, civilians stop being these terrible things that you're killing and just be a means to an end for health. Uh, there's like five levels. This game feels like a pre-alpha. Like the fact that they can charge twenty dollars is really the most disgusting thing about it. I'm not bothered by the copious amounts of violence or the merciless slaughter of innocent civilians. I'm I'm disgusted by human greed. They would enable people to charge as much money as they did for it. Um, don't buy it. Don't pirate it. Don't play it. Um, you know, and admittedly, there are some good things here. I like like the soundtrack isn't terrible. The gun sounds are okay. The gore is pretty grippy. Like 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 it's it's cool. The train level alone, I think, is really neat. And the the executions, the way they drag you in real time to see it, it's it's neat. It's appreciated. I like kind of what they're going for. But at the end of the day, like it's they're charging way too much for like five levels of of redundant kind of off-screen shooter bullshit. Mechanics are sloppy. Uh, the executions, well, like a neat niche at first, become time-consuming and annoying because you have to do them so often to regenerate health. Um, there's like like either there's not enough weapons on the map or there's too many weapons on the map and it doesn't make a difference. Uh, higher end level NPCs seem to take way more damage than they should. And overall, like the gameplay becomes redundant before it really gets fun. Uh, the train level is about the only level that I think is actually a good time. And for the most part, you're just shooting in the straight line for the whole time. So uh, I don't know. I can't recommend it. Um, wait, maybe if it's like two to three bucks, then it can be justifiable. I think if they charge five dollars, it would be perfect because it's about a five dollar game. Um, yeah, I don't know, it plays like it's in a beta, PC Gamer did a review on it, and they shit on it, and uh, I, I find some positives in it, like I said, I, I think stylistically it's kind of cool, I like the noir vibe, I like the way that the light, like, is only generated by fire, it works with the sort of grim moroseness of it, but, I don't know, there's not even enough gore, I was talking about this earlier too, when I was playing some Killing Floor 2, like, this game, for all its gore and all its intense, like, like it's not even that gory, really, like, you want gore, look, at, like, Killing Floor 2, I can shoot a dude, his dead body flies through the air and then I can blast it in midair and it blows into pieces covering the ground with like all sorts of viscera and blood and goodness. I mean this game's just sort of like I don't know. This game feels like it was made by like 13 year old kids that were super edgy that wouldn't actually shoot up a school but would think about doing it or talk about how cool it would be to do it. Um, I don't have a rating system. I would just say yeah don't don't I mean like pirate it if you're really bored but don't don't bother until it's way way cheaper. But uh, this has been the Let's Play. Thanks for tuning in and um I don't know, I guess, uh, I don't know, like or subscribe or some shit, I, I, whatever, fuck you, um.
No, seriously though, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate your time.